Welcome back to Hungry for Adventure. We are here today at Disney California Adventure to celebrate the beginning of their food and wine festival. There's going to be basically California inspired cuisine and drinks all throughout the park. There's going to be like 12 festival kiosks, which is like a ton. Um, so we're going to focus in this video on only the brand new items that they didn't have in previous food and wine festivals. So we're gonna do a follow-up video probably next month. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Let's go adventurers. The festival marketplace kiosks don't open until around 10.30 or so, so the only place that was open really is the Terran Treats. And so we wanted to start with a treat from there. So this is the new um, Terran Treat that is for food and wine. It is a yellow strawberry spiral churro um, with a berry compote. I love that the little powdered sugar that they use on the outside is like, it looks like space dust. It's like kind of bluish, pinkish. It looks like the colors of the galaxy. And so, let's try this. Let that be a warning to you that uh, it can kind of fall apart. <laughs> so, I have the inside part and the outside part that kind of separated. So, just be warned. I really like the berry compote. It looks fresh, it tastes freshly made. It's um, kind of sweet and tangy. The churro itself, yeah. it's really good. Strawberry's flavor is kind of subtle, but it, you still get like a nice sweetness. Yum, yum, yum. It's the first time this place has had a, like a different flavored churro because they've only had the green pineapple one. I think personally, I prefer the green pineapple um, base, but this is still a pretty good dessert. Kayla, you want to try a piece? No? <laughs> you have sugar on your mouth now. <laughs> oh my goodness, you like it? So due to technical issues, our mics kind of cut out, but we wanted to show you our popping particle punch that we got from Tim Tasting Lab. It is a non-alcoholic drink that is not specific to food and wine festival, so I think you can get this all year long now. And it is a pineapple hurricane with grenadine, and it like pops because it has these little pop rocks, and it is like probably one of our favorite drinks that we've had at the parks, period. So definitely a super fun and super tasty drink. Kind of reminds me of a uh, grape soda and it makes me feel like a kid again. <laughs> While we wait for the booths to open, we'll give you a little rundown of what's available. This is the festival guide. It goes from March 4th today to April 26th. And there's a bunch of other like activities. There's like, uh, winemakers receptions, there's like uh, beer wine tasting seminars and things like that. There's um, festival performers and things like that. Um, but we're mostly here for the food. <laughs> I know it's food and wine, but we're here for the food. And so they give you this little tasting passport and this kind of gives you a rundown of everything that's available in terms of food. And it even has pictures, so it's like nice to, to look at and figure out what you're gonna eat. 
And like, you know, pro tip, especially when it gets crowded, you might want to like order multiple items at one kiosk um, because you can order from other kiosks um, and that way you don't have to stand in that like ordering line multiple times. You can just get straight into the pickup line. The Paradise Garden Grill area is kind of a beer garden now and so they have like a bunch of beers on tap, craft beers and all that. Um, the Paradise Garden Grill obviously has like special items as well, so we're gonna order that. And they also have exclusive merch for food and wine uh, festival, including like special ears, there's a spirit jersey, t-shirts, aprons, uh, wine glasses, wine tumblers. So you can uh, find some cute stuff to take home too. So this is our first item. This is from Garlic Kissed. It is a sirloin with some black garlic chimichurri and gruyere smashed potatoes. Basically, it's a garlic cheesy mashed potato with steak, meat and potatoes. Let's try this. I love garlic, so this better be like pungent, like right in your face. Goodness. Mm. <laughs> it's so garlicky, but I love it. If you're not a huge fan of garlic, I would say maybe you might not like it. The sirloin, I mean, it's sirloin, so it's not like the fattiest, like the most tender cut, but smashed potatoes are really good. They're nicely cheesy. Let's try a little bit of this uh, pepper on top too. Mm. It's good. I like it a lot. It's a good good way to kick it off. Ooh, I just got a kick from the, from the chili. Mmm. I do love myself some bean and potatoes and this is it. We're definitely off to a good start. Gotta go pick up the other food before it gets crowded. <laughs> Second item we got is from Golden Dreams. It's a mango carrot gazpacho. Gazpacho is a cold soup and it looks like it's like topped with some sort of cream and then like there's like jalapenos, cilantro and tomatoes and then it comes with shrimp on top. Let's try a little bit of the soup. Mmm. It has a little bit of a kick. It's sweet from the mangoes. It has a little sour note too. You know like, oh, it's sweet from the carrots too. Like you get like the carrot sweetness as well as the tangy sweetness from the uh, mango. I'm gonna try the shrimp here. Mmm. Mmm. It reminds me of a shrimp cocktail. It's really refreshing. I think it would be perfect for a hot day. It's like, it's a very foodie dish. They also have like a salmon salad here, but I wanted to go try this one because it's uh, a little more adventurous. You know what I realized? The soup itself without anything on it reminds me of like a smoothie, like an orange mango smoothie. <laughs> I mean, not that it's a bad thing, but it's, it does like lean sweet. <laughs> From I Heart Artichokes, we got the Chicharron Dusted Fried Artichoke Dip. And it comes in a smoked pepper crema, and there is a, uh, there's some Oaxaca cheese. Let's try a bite. Mmm. Wow. It's not just like regular artichoke dip, there's like definitely a kick to it from the pepper, smoked pepper. There's actually corn and like black beans in here. I don't know if you can see that like bring it more flavor than like a regular like artichoke dip. It's really good, but it definitely has a kick. Mmm. It's so fun. Also for my heart artichokes, I actually got a cocktail. This one is their passion fruit rum cocktail. It comes with some white rum. I think there's some like Italian aperitif 
um, and passion, orange, and guava, and lime. Let's squeeze a little spritz of orange. <clears throat> Nothing came out. It's okay. Oh, this is dangerous. It's so tasty. It, I see, it tastes the orange first, more so than any other flavor, but you can't, the rum flavor is not too strong. I love like tropical drinks, especially with rum. Like this is like the perfect cocktail. So I would, I would, I would recommend this if you like tropical drinks. All right, from Nuts About Cheese, I got this year's kind of viral item. It is a peanut butter and jelly mac. I know, right? So it's made with it's made with a uh, cheese, obviously, in the mac and cheese, and then there's a brown sugar streusel on top, and there's um, strawberry pop rocks on top too. It's supposed to be like peanut butter and jelly, and and mac and cheese kind of had a baby. We'll taste, it. see how it tastes. You know what? <laughs> Ooh, Pop Rocks. I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad. I would say you'd have to be a fan of peanut butter to enjoy it, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's a little bit adventurous. It almost tastes like a dessert, but with like pasta as the carb. <laughs> I actually like it. I don't know if I can finish the whole thing, but it's not bad. Then we have this little next level cheese and crackers. So they actually make these crackers in house. And this little fromage blanc is made with uh, white cheddar. There's a prosciutto jam. That's what this like neat looking thing is. And a cherry jam, which is what that like dark pink looking spread is. Should be a nice sweet and salty balance. Mmm. Oh. Okay, that fromage blanc, that cheese, is really cheesy. You get a saltiness from that prosciutto like I expected. Oh, those are pretty good. And I like the sweetness from the jam. It's like a grown up, what is it? Like, you know how they say our generation is, grew up on Lunchables, so we love charcuterie boards? That's exactly what this is in a sandwich. Mmm. I need wine. <laughs> from Peppers Caliente, we have the chili relleno empanada. And it comes with like a spicy arbol salsa or something, arbol pepper and then um, some cotija and Oaxaca cheeses. You can actually kind of smell the cheese. Looks like it has like a nice crust on the outside. We'll see how it is. Hmm, there's a good tip. It's cheesy. The chili gives a nice like smokiness. It has a kick. It's pretty spicy. Definitely something that I can't give my baby. <laughs> mm. If you like chili relleno, I think you'll like this. The empanada, like outside, I think is not necessarily the best. It's not like flaky or crusty, but the filling is so good. And like the little salsa and the cheese outside is really good too. Mmm. And then, we have from the berry patch, this strawberry cheesecake with lemon chantilly. I'm excited for this. It's our little sweet item. Although the PB&J ended, uh, the peanut butter mac and cheese ended up being sweet, but. Oh, and there's a nice graham cracker crust from the bottom. Mmm. Mmm. So, the filling, the cheesecake itself is also strawberry. So it's like a nice pink. And then the top, there's like another layer of strawberry. 
I actually prefer it without this layer of strawberry on top. I think it's already sweet enough. And the top layer is just makes it sweeter. I'm not sure until it does provide a nice contrast to it, but it does definitely lean sweet. Uh, I feel like she likes it. <laughs> she does like it. Perfect for the kids. We're at Paradise Garden Grill and we're here and we got the brisket fries. So there's some brisket with some green onions, pico de gallo, and some chipotle crema and cheese. It's like a barbecue brisket. Let's try this. The barbecue sauce is sweet and tangy. Um, I think I'm not a huge fan of the brisket. It's kind of like too, uh, too soggy, but the rest of the toppings are good. I would say out of all the food here, this is probably like on the lower side. It look, it's very basic. So these are the chashu ribs from Paradise Garden Grill as well. Ooh, it looks super tender. It just fell off the bone. But it's supposed to be Chinese inspired with some almond uh, salad. Let's try this. Mm. This is super tender. It does tend to lean sweet, but it's still really good. It has a nice char from the charcoal grill i would definitely say get this one over the fries it was a little bit loud so i couldn't like really finish up my thoughts but we just finished up at the paradise garden grill i think you should definitely skip the brisket fries and go with the charcuterie ribs maybe get the fish and chips which was like kind of on our list um but we didn't get but it might be better than the brisket fries i don't know that one was a really big miss for me but the char siu, char siu ribs were really good. Um, the rice wasn't that great. I wish there was more salad, but like the meat itself was really good, so. All right, this beautiful drink is the Sake Melon 75. It is made with sake, some ginger liqueur, Prosecco, there's rock melon syrup, and lemongrass citron puree. The uh, employee said to uh, stir it beforehand because, I don't know, I guess the flavors settle. Let's try this. Tastes like melon candy almost. It's so, it's so sweet. And like the sake flavor in there is like very subtle, but like it adds to the kind of the sweetness. I don't know, it's really good. Mmm. And you get a little hint of ginger. So it like kind of balances out the sweetness. I don't know if I prefer this or the other cocktail that I had earlier. Mmm. They're both really good. And then we got the glazed barbecue pork belly and it comes with a togarashi or furikake togarashi max salad it looks really good this uh booth is la style it's actually kind of hidden next to monsters inc so it's a little harder to find let's try this mm. super tender very flavorful. Mm. I feel like the max salad could be a little creamier, but I really like that furukake fugarashi on top. It gives it that like nice seaweed umami flavor. It's probably one of my favorite items today. It's this and the sirloin. I haven't decided yet. Mm. I love how tender this is though. So good. We're all done here at the California Adventure. We had a great time eating some of their the new foods here at the Food and Wine Festival. We hope that you like this video. I think personally my favorite dish was the sirloin with the smashed potatoes with the garlic chimichurri. That was 
my standout dish for sure. Um, my favorite drink was, I think that sake melon 75. That one was probably my favorite. I would order that again and again and again. <laughs> um, overall, all the foods have been pretty good. I think the PB, what is it, peanut butter mac is definitely more geared towards the kids. Just an FYI because Kayla loved it. Um, but yeah, we hope you like this video. Again, we're gonna do a follow-up video uh, soon. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss that video. Please give us a thumbs up and see you in our next adventure.